Hello, Fiona. How are you? Hi, fine, thanks. How are you doing? Very good, very good. As I said, I'm very cold, so if I'm looking really quiet in the corner, that's probably why. <laughs> um, so in this episode, you want to take something a little bit different. I know you said we're just chatting about this off air, and before we started, you said you know there's you didn't want to talk about the news all the time because everyone's probably got fatigue over that. I'm sure. Yes. Um, we, we know interest rates are risen again. <laughs> and <laughs> I just like, <laughs> I don't, I, I just, uh, I think it'd be nice and refreshing to actually talk about something a little bit different than, um, interest rates rising all the time and uh, just stressing everybody out. Let's, let's make it a little bit more refreshing now. And so what are we going to talk about today? Fiona Conway and Associates Mortgage Brokers. There we go. We're just going to do like, <laughs> we're just going to literally, as you said, talk a little bit about what you do because so many people yeah. don't we don't really talk about it we talk about exactly. what's going on but we don't talk about how your business runs what people can expect and i think right now it's probably more valuable than it is because it's like going okay this is what how it works if we wanted to work with you this is what it would be it would look like so hmm. so let's dive in how do you work so uh fiona conway and associates mortgage brokers we're based in harrogate north yorkshire um the beauty is that the way businesses now uh, especially since covid we can deal with any clients you could be in london cornwall scotland it's absolutely fine we can still deal with you um the way that the business is set up is that my business model is that i give all the advice i have a fantastic team lynn charlotte behind me who um support me every single day um i'm very very lucky with that um uh, and they allow the business to work so that I can give the advice. Um, and I like that. I'm not passing people on to anybody else. There's not someone who's training, who's giving advice. I'm giving the advice after all 11 years experience that I have. So with, it, so with that, and I quite like that idea of, so it's just purely you're the face of it. You're the person someone would deal with. Mm -hmm. And then the team, what do they do in the background? Yeah, so Lynn's fantastic at helping me with tricky cases. Um, she does so much every single day um, and works longer hours than she should do most of the time. Uh, she's involved with um, backing, backing me up with helping with tricky cases, um, help, helping place mortgages, um, helping with applications and dealing with clients. Charlotte's front end of the business. She's mm -hmm. dealing with... Um, getting clients booked in for appointments, talking to them about how it works, setting them up on our portal, um, giving clients updates further on down the line, um, sending out gifts on completion, which is quite an exciting job. I quite like that one, actually. <laughs> I might take that one back. <laughs> quite stressful, though, as well, because you've got to do a lot yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, I quite like that. Um, so it, it's just a great structure. There's a good process there and it works really, really well. And it gives me the opportunity to be able to speak to the clients, which is what I love doing and what I've always loved doing in all the roles I've ever had since leaving school. So, And the thing that I want to really like ask you, which is something that I, as of working with you for a while now, and you know, this the type of service and the level of service that you guys deliver at, at like FC, like is what, to you, what's the most important thing about like the process? What's the thing that you enjoy the most? What's the bit that's the most important for your client to experience? Yeah, for me, it's all about customer satisfaction. There's yeah. nothing better than getting that email or that review saying, thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you. <clears throat> I'd always recommend you. That's just amazing. And it makes it worthwhile. I've said before, this industry is a bit of an emotional roller coaster, especially right now. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> so all those, all those um, uh, thank yous, and oh, you know, you. Someone said the other day, "I haven't experienced service like this for a long time. It just doesn't happen anymore." And I love that because that's what I pride myself on. It's what I pride the business on. It, we're all like that in the business. We we like to give good customer service. It makes us happy we expect that if we go elsewhere so we're just treating people the way we would want to be treated and it's said that on my website since day one of starting the business i expect to be treated in a certain way my expectations can be quite high and therefore i would like to be able to treat other people in that way as well we're all human beings this is stressful trying waiting 
for your mortgage updates is stressful, especially when there's not so great service levels right now. People need their expectations managed. They need to know that their application is not going to be looked at for 10 days. There's nothing wrong. It's just in a queue. I think it's important to explain things like that to people because they will be waking up every morning thinking, oh, is anyone going to call me today? Is anyone going to call me today? Because I, I would. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, no, we're not. Worst. We're not going to call you for 10 days. And it's important for people to know that, you know, we're, we're not ignoring you. We just have nothing to tell you yet. You're very good at that, though. Your, your process and your service has this very much that we do it at this point. At this point, your client contact and your follow-up is very, very uh, systemized, in the, and I really like that. So what's the um, what's the kind of um, – I'm trying to think how, well, how the word I would describe it because for you, me and you were talking about this off-air, and this is idea of, like, advice. You know, people come to people for advice, for brokers to for advice, and obviously – can't give advice on videos we know that and obviously you can't give advice unless it's tailored to a situation but we were chatting about the difference between advice versus just order taking so to you as a mortgage advisor and right now how that how you, we feel that's quite bad and quite obvious right now is in for you as a business for, for all you and your team how important is the is the the focus on the fact that you will give the to give the client the advice that is relevant to them not just do potentially what they ask because there's two very different things yeah yeah so i actually had an email from a client the other day saying i've spoken to a previous broker this is my the email below could you have a look at it for me please and what i realized in that email is the the broker had literally said this is the rate you can have or this is the rate you can have or you could do or this is the rate you can have well, for me, it's not up to the client to choose. Yeah. It's actually up to me to advise on what I think they should do and then listen to what they have to say. So my email would have been different to that. It would have been, right, these are your options. However, based on this, 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 and this, what I'm seeing in the news, what I'm reading from Bank of England, you know, what I'm experiencing at the moment, this is my advice to you. And that is the absolute difference. That's what should put companies like mine above others we're not just telling you what the rates are you you can go on many supermarket and see that yeah. um, <laughs> it, <laughs> well, um what the important thing is is that we give advice we are there to say to you these are the rates these are your options but i am your advisor and i will tell you what i think is right for you what are your thoughts you know that that's the difference that's what that's people should have when they're paying for advice well exactly that's what you get if you're paying for advice i remember this being taught, said to me and that's why i really love we having that conversation because i remember um when i was in a, in your role many years ago now and it was literally um one of the one of my, my boss i worked at the time said um you know you've got a he called it the doctor approach and he said when you go to speak to a doctor a doctor doesn't say so there's this painkiller like which is like let's say there's cocodamol ibuprofen I think you should take ibuprofen. But if you want to, I think you should take cocodamol. But if you really want to, just pop an ibuprofen. You'll be fine. That's up to you. They don't do that. They say, from my professional experience, and you know, and from my 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 experience in this industry, I believe you've got this, and you should take this. They don't actually. It's not forcing it upon somebody, but they are they are making a like a a, a coming to an a, an analytical based solution from their own experience and. Mm -hmm describing what they feel is the right thing and sometimes yeah. people i feel this is what's really good with what you're doing what you do and what you've just said and this for people to understand is that so many people are too scared to give you actual advice They're like you make a decision and what's really funny is 99 times out of 100 people who are coming to you what are paying you for you to make the decision <laughs> not yeah. for and, and then people can't seem to understand that and i think it's that's it's really quite frustrating to see but also really good for people like yourself because it separates you from many, many advisors. I think so. I think when a, a client will get their best experience when they walk away from something and think, she's got me, she gets what I'm saying, she understands my concerns, and that makes sense. Her email makes sense. The phone call that we've had has made sense. I understand why she's saying what she says. People can disagree. That's fine. We'll talk about it. We'll come to a solution. But the advice that I'm giving is based on extensive research that I'm doing. 
you know, looking at graphs, looking at what the predictions are for the next couple of years. All I can do is give advice on what I can see at the moment, but it is based on research and I'm happy to share that research with clients. I'm happy to say, I've read this publication. I can see this. This is what I'm being told by the, by the Bank of England. And all we can do is act on that. But it's important to share those, those experiences. That's what makes you a good advisor. That shows that you are trying to do what's right for a client. You ha are putting that effort in to give the correct advice. It's not just our two-year fix, five-year fix, whatever. You know, it's showing that you are going to that extra level of, of care, really, to make sure you are doing the best you can. 100%. What other parting words would you say that we need to be, anything else needs to be added to this episode for people to understand? No, I, don't, I think it was just important for us to explain yeah. who I am, who my company is, the fantastic people that I have to support me. And because of that, we're able to give you a, a, a good service and um, advice based on research and facts. I love it. And it's good. And it gives context to all the stuff that we talk about in each week because it is sometimes yeah. it can be like, I don't understand. We have to have ones like that where sometimes people are like, that's great, but who are you? <laughs> yeah. So, exactly. absolutely. I absolutely love it. It was a really good episode. And guys, make sure to tune in next week. Bye.